Welcome back. This will be a shorter episode. I got limited time. Someone has uh, finally maybe told me where this... What are we doing here? There we go. Where this guy... I don't remember what his name is. Jed? Oh, his name is Jed. Wow. I nailed it. I haven't played this game in a little while, so they said it's right at the edge of the outskirts. And there's a container around here. How do you... Uh, this one? That might have Jed inside. Jed! Wow, that took way too long. A dark-skinned man in his 40s is reclining on two back legs of a one-piece injection-molded plastic chair. He's balancing a four-barreled shotgun on his knee, and it's pointed in your direction. Unlike the other junk strewn about, unlike his home itself, the shotgun is well looked after. The fuck you want? He asks, raising the bore of his weapon a little less than an inch. What does darkness sound like? He's like a bad Batman. You owe me 1,200 credits. What about it? Says Jed. He's obviously annoyed, but since he's already aiming a shotgun at your head, isn't sure how to express it. I'm here to collect. Son, take a quick look around. Anything here you can shift for 1,200 credits, it's all yours. Hmm. I don't know that I have a reputation for combat, but I would love some more experience points. I almost certainly think asking a man's shotgun is going to end up getting me shot, but let's see here. I'm going to read this. I don't know if we're going to go with it yet. Look, I'm not here to give you a hard time. I'd like to help you square away your debt, but if I go back empty-handed, soon as you fall asleep, four hard boys are gonna come around and close the account for good. Ooh. Look, said Size Jed, I don't have the money, but if you really want to help me, I know a way to clear two grand minimum, but I can't do it alone. I'm listening. Ever heard of Black Will? His parents named him What God Will, but he shortened it to Will. A little later, some other folks tacked on the rest. And they saw what kind of man he was. I heard he was somewhere in the factory. Yeah, he was, but Black Will wore out his welcome and now he's laying low, conveniently close by. There are two more with him, at least half as black as Will. But if you back me up... Me and you can do this town a favor and settle my debt. All for an afternoon's work. What do you say? My afternoon's wide open. <laughs> no, I wouldn't do the weird laugh. You best get ready then. I'll wait for you here. I mean, I'm as ready as I'm gonna get, man. I'm gonna get rocked by this storyline. Ready to go? Or do you need to take a shower first, asked Jed. As ready as I'll ever be. You follow Jed to a shot of the assembled warehouse. Four containers welded together, with the inner walls cut away to form a bigger interior. Like a magic trick, he produces an access card and swipes it through the magnetic lock. How do you want to play it? Never underestimate the power of persuasion. Shaking his head at this foolishness, Jed focuses his attention on the shotgun. Going through the door. Jed, you show up here? You best brought me what I asked for, says a heavy-set bearded man. Registering more than one person at the door, he scrambles to draw his gun. You backstabbing bastard! I wouldn't advise that, friend. Captain Braxton doesn't take attacks on the regulators kindly. Especially when he's offering the hand of friendship. Ooh. Yeah. I don't need his friendship, spits Black Will. He does lower his gun, indicating the opposite. Hmm. My streetwise is really good, which would mean that I probably want to raise my persuasion. Oh, but you do. 
If you want to stay in this town, that is. Of course, you can always go back to the factory, but I hear you're a wanted man there. This friendship, what's it gonna cost me? Says Will. Asks Will, gritting his teeth. You catch up fast, friend. A thousand a month ought to do. One month in advance, and that's the two grand you owe us. Uh oh. I don't have that kind of money. Will says it. But even if I did. Hmm. I'm so close. I feel like I could fail this and still. I don't know if I has to like go in the other direction. You really think you have a choice, you dumb fuck? The only reason you're still breathing is because you're worth more to me alive than dead. God help you if that's not the case. Boom. Nailed it. Fucking bastards, says Will, throwing you his credit drive. A bit shy of 1200. That's all I have, so you can take it or leave it. Fine. Let's call it a new customer special. Have yourself a great day. Take the transfer the credits to your drive and leave because I'm a hard dude can I assume your business is concluded he asked cautiously consider your debt fully discharged like the way you handle yourself says Jed giving you an appraising look I've got another debt needs settling but it'll require some extra manpower you get the feeling that this debt is about something other than money another local job it's in the shanties, clustered up against the engines. They call it the heart. A good way to remind folks that the reactor is the ship's heart, and it's the mutants that keep it beaten. My ex-partner runs a trading post there. He'll have a small army with him, lest he's gone broke or soft. But as is usually the case, the profit is proportional to the risk. If we make it that far, you can definitely count on me. In the meantime, I could use your help with some unfinished business. I think I can free up some time for you. Oh shit, we got another guy on the team. And he's level three. And he's pretty good with shotguns. So far I've been absolutely terrible with the combat, so I'm really counting on you, buddy. How about let's talk about armor. Yeah. See, so you got the shotgun skill, burst and double shot. Cuffs one less. Okay, so he's good at that. Oh man, I need to upgrade his critical strike. Dang. I'm well-spoken, and I don't handle things with combat, and I'm terrible at stealth, according to this game. Oh, she's getting pretty close to getting level 2 critical strike. Okay, okay. Well, damn, Evans. 105? You're ridiculous. You're insane. He's insane, guys. All right, well, maybe we can do a little bit more of that combat stuff. Now that we got Jed in it. Oh, you know what? I better take a look at his equipment before I get too based. The Double Trouble. How you rocking for ammo? We got, oh, oh, geez. Oh, you have a subdermal armor. Uh, damn, Chad, what the fuck, you a hard dude, brother. What were your skills again? We're just gonna give you a wrenchy thing just to have a wrenchy thing are we already here oh you can do your equipment without stopping all right I'm ready okay 
Okay, I'm gonna do this. So we want Jed up front with the shotgun. We want Faith on the side. Yeah. And then we want to pocket our two riflemen. And I feel like that's going to be our best shot. Oh, uh oh. Oh, his armor took the hit. Hey, hey. You can't shoot anybody? What the what what is this? What is this? What do you what do you what? Oh, Evans, why are you so useless? I did that same thing as quick load. I right clicked instead of left. Honestly, did not expect to take him down in uh, one. Just reload. There we go. <laughs> Get him, Jed. Get him. You're a good man, Jed. I like having you on the team already. Let's dome this fool. Nope, let's totally miss. That's fine too. I don't need to learn how to use a rifle. We got here, double shot. Oh, you don't have the ammo to do a double shot. How about a headshot? shot damn owned completely wrecked <laughs> oh holy shit jet is a true hero everybody else sucks compared to him all right yes good good steal their stuff Maybe a third body nobody leveled That's why, because Jet is a fucking hard dude. Holy cow. They call him No Joke Jet around these parts. Are we doing on 5, 6, and 9? Yeah. We're doing A-OK. -okay. 
We're gonna need to get some healing, unfortunately, but that's the way life works. Scrapper coat. Truncheon hammer. It's going away. Boots, other boots. I'm just stacking up what's for sale and what's not. Two two is probably better than what I got. Well done, Deputy. The Daltons have been held legally accountable for their actions, and the people's faith in our infallible judicial process has been restored. Are you ready for your next case? Give me a few hours. Yeah, because I need to go heal my man Jed, and also finish Jed's quest, which is... Probably was not recruit Jed, but pay his debts. We gotta find Jack. Hey, Jed's buckaroos, probably at the Whiskey Jack. What can I get you? Here's Jed's debt, paid in full, minus my fee. Thanks, Darkness. Here's a couple extra for your trouble. He gives you a couple of combat stems. Well, Jed, good enough for me. Oh, that says Evans leveled up. Oh, Evans. Can you get the thing that gives you bonus skills on level up? Plus one tag skill, plus 20% experience. I think we should probably go ahead and get that for you. Where we want to give you experience in Evans. How oh, about critical strike? So when you hit, you hit hard. Fifty credits. All right. Jed's healed up. I feel like we're good to go finish up some extrajudicial killings. Sorry, I, I guess it's actually judicial killings. They're not extra. Well, I mean, I'm really extra about it, but they are perfectly judicial killings in the eyes of this law. I'm ready. Next on the docket is Ebenezer Harding, also known as Hard Ben. This one has been testing the town's patients ever since he moved here. The low-down backshooter is alleged to have killed three men in cold blood out in Michigan troll ruins, and then returned here to sell their cargo, the nerve. Turns out the alleged victims work for Mr. Red Mr. Jonas Redford himself. Which makes Mr. Redford the rightful owner of the aforementioned cargo. Mr. Harding also incurred the fine for the unlawful termination of the dead man's employment contracts. But when all this was explained to him by one of my clerks, the miscreant not only refused to pay the fine, he refused to surrender the stolen goods. Without the rule of law, this town would be overrun by savages. It's time for you to send a strong message to Mr. Harding and any of his friends who might be skulking about that their kind isn't welcome here. Any other details? Though unscrupulous and ill-mannered, Mr. Harding isn't entirely ignorant of the boons of civilization. He has several gizmos in his possession, including an energy shield. As I'm sure you're aware, I'm obliged by law to disclose all facts of the case that might come up during the trial. 
Are you telling me this bastard will show up fully loaded? The Chief Justice raises one finger in tones. No person may be deprived of life, liberty, or property without the due process of the law. Make your case. Oh, shit. They just sent in one guy against us. That's how you know he's hard. We're gonna need faith to get around behind him when the time is right. Evans. Oh, he goes first, too. This thing's the best. Uh oh. He a little crazy. <laughs> you kidding me? You got rocked. Uh oh. All right, Faith, I need you to sneak around behind him with your blade out. You should have enough to stab him in the back. That's not so good. Shield's not so good now, is it, bitch? Let's give him a little bit of that double shot. Give him the old double. Give him the old double, Jed. A double double. When we go hard, we go hammer, man. Let's see here. A multi-barreled shotgun. Yeah. Ballistic vest. This is some good stuff. Energy shield. Thanks for your stuff, loser. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, that's a good acquirement. You know what? We're going to put the good armor on fit. Oh, she's already got good armor. Actually, she's already got a lot better armor. I was going to say, we need to prioritize her. All right. 13, 17 versus 11, 14. Interesting. AP cost four, effective range two. So this is a longer range model. Costs more to reload by just a little bit. Graze, crit, stagger, 35, 10, 10. Yeah, so this is like a backup weapon. I don't want to sell it yet, but... It's not as good as his trusty double barrel. <clears throat> Especially when this guy is basically meant to draw people into close combat. So this is a 1-3. It's better at stopping projectiles than it is... Uh, Alright, this is getting sold. And you know what, I think I can just hard commit to... Selling this. Did anyone get hurt? Faith has got a little damage, but other than that... Well done, my boy. This job tends to grind people down, but you're hardly breaking a sweat out there. Save. Ready to work? We've got the full docket. I'm ready. A gang of vile road agents calling themselves the Black Hand. These thugs make their living terrorizing traders passing through the factory. A group of regulators nabbed three of these miscreants looting dead bodies at the scene of the latest attack. Now they are finally going to face justice. 
But are the looters who were brought in actually members of this gang? Only God knows for sure, but even if they're just scavengers, putting them on trial will send a strong message to the Black Hand. This one is uh, fucking bullshit. Ugh, ugh. The factory? Is there another name for it where you come from? Asked the Chief Justice, looking surprised. I'm talking about the industrial zone stretching all the way to the habitat. Basher, sharpshooter, and grinder. Their names are very descriptive. Probably the things they do. I do need a way to spread out Evans. Let's do it this way. Rather than having Evans move, I'll have me move. So I'm not a very good shooter to begin with. You think you can just go up against Jed and win? Against Jed? The Jed? Send out our version. I'm gonna catch him from the side. Ooh, that's not so good. That's even worse. That's, yeah. Faith is in some real trouble. Locked on shooting both of these guys? Oh, I swapped positions with Evans, that's why I'm blocked. Yeah, it makes sense. Give him the double. center in there that was a nasty bit of work Apparently we need to teach her how to dodge. Yep.
Oh, I quick loaded instead of regular loaded. I'll say this, this game sure loads very quickly between stages. Okay, so we can't mess around with Faith doing this crap anymore. She needs cover. Jed is the only one who can really take a hit. Imagine doing an Iron Man run of this game. Alright. Just like before, we might have finally hit our limit on things we can actually fight. Given how weak we are. So that's how we're going to roll. Alright, not bad. I forgot to load this gun. Man, that is... Oh, she fired on... Um, she fired a reaction shot. Oh, Jesus. He's gonna die. I don't need a headshot. I just need a hit. give this one more try. I'm sorry guys, I'm just getting absolutely destroyed. Uh, I might have to come back here when I've got better armor or some sort of gadget, but it kind of seems like no matter what happens, they're just going to target Faith. So let's put Faith in the bucket and force them to go for Jed. She'll have to move around to the side. Oh no, he's coming around the side. Maybe it's better at such long ranges to go for... How far can she throw this thing? Why is her throwing area so weird? Oh, she can't throw through the cone.
of where people are. So she can't throw because she has directly in front of her. But now we can hit what we need to. Reload the rifle. We can then fire and reload again. That's not great. Well, now I'm almost dead. All right, Jay, give him the double. Get to him again. Well, that's the end of that. We need another way to get experience and armor. That doesn't involve doing this. Speaking of, let's go ahead and transit to a shop, sell some stuff off. Well, we made some steps forward, some steps forward. I know we didn't get as much done as I would have liked. But we killed a lot of people. And really, isn't that what life is about on the frontier? About who you killed and who you killed them for. I just realized I could do this rather than individually sail. You know what? What if I... Yeah, I can do that. You know what? Give everybody a little health juice. probably give it to myself since I am the least useful combat member and I haven't seen a grenade miss yet we're back where we started the episode Hydroponics. Keep walking. A bald man wearing a gas mask gestures you to approach. From what you can where you can see it, his skin is pockmarked and slack with prolonged exposure to antifungal chemicals. You're guessing the environment isn't great for hair, either. Welcome to Camp Reed, he says, removing the gas mask with a sigh of relief. I'm Carlos Maney. Boone sent me to pick up his algae. There's nothing in stock right now. The bioreactor is down again, so I can't do anything for you until we get it up and running. Of course, if you're willing to lend a hand. What's a bioreactor? It's a more efficient way to produce algae. Open systems, he points to the algae-covered pools, are easy to work with, but the photosynthetic zone is limited to two inches of the surface. A bioreactor doesn't have such limits, but keeping it operational is getting harder and harder. How can I help? We need more parts. Everything in the vicinity has been stripped bare. 
except he turns and looks meaningfully at the ruins of Alpha Tower. Once the hydroponic towers all stretched from floor to ceiling. While the lower section of Alpha Tower was destroyed during the mutiny, the upper half still clings stubbornly to the ceiling like a big metal stalactite. An ancient and not especially trustworthy looking walkway connects to the stub to a nearby tower. I'll give it a shot, but don't hold your breath. Do you have any work that doesn't require acrobatics? Well, we do have a dispute with a fella named Morgan, Carlos says reluctantly. We fired him and his crew to clear one of the towers from wildlife, but now they're refusing to hand it over. I assume all options are on the table. Well, we'd prefer if the situation were resolved. Amicably, Carlos says carefully, but one way or another, we need to reclaim that tower. I'll see what I can do. I know Morgan, says Faith. He worked with my father. Her face hardens as she speaks the words. I want your word he will not be harmed. What are you talking about? You know damn well what I'm talking about, snaps Faith. Your word. Do I have it or not? Morgan will not be harmed. I promise. Thank you, says Faith. I won't forget this. I've committed now. Welcome to the Quick Fix 3000. Oh wait, I did have a um, I did have a spare cybernetic, right? Where did I put that thing? Did I did I sell it by accident? That seems like it would be really dumb. And it looks like maybe I did. Wasn't I going to get, like, a neural implant of some kind? Let's see, accept waiver. Neuralink. Okay, it doesn't matter. I couldn't get it anyway. Why are there so many elevators? Okay, so we're at living quarters. All right, okay, 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 okay. Tell you what, unfortunately this is where our time together ends today. Because I'm very busy and I got more shows. But thank you for joining me. Glad we have Jed, he's a real motherfucker.